This video demonstrates the use of IGW for performing Monte Carlo analysis for a two-dimensional stochastic groundwater model. The earlier example, which showed a single realization of hydraulic conductivity variability, is used to perform a Monte Carlo analysis using 50 different realizations. Transport of a continuous plume source is simulated for each of these realizations. A sampling network of monitoring wells and polylines is created to measure the impact of varying hydraulic conductivity on a number of parameters. The monitoring wells provide point-based statistics of the following parameters. Log K, hydraulic head, plume concentration, and the seepage velocities in the X and Y directions. The polylines provide information on the solute and seepage fluxes across the polylines. For each parameter, various statistics are computed. The mean, maximum, minimum, median, mode, and standard deviation after each realization. Also computed are the histogram and the cumulative distribution function, or CDF, and the probability density function, or PDF. At the end of 50 realizations, it is seen that even though the input to the model, log k, is normally distributed, the primary output concentration is strongly skewed. The steps to create the model are as follows. 1. The model is based on the previous stochastic modeling example. Add multiple wells to the right of the polygon representing a contaminant source. Two, edit the properties of the wells in Attributes Explorer. For each well, select None for the source or sink type and then check the monitoring probability distribution box under Monitoring Well. Three, draw a polyline within the cluster of monitoring wells. Then draw a second polyline to the right of the well cluster. Edit their properties in Attributes Explorer. For each polyline just created, select Non-Specified Head, and then select Calculate and Display Flux across the polyline. This will automatically check the Show Total Flux at a selected time in a new window box. Four, discretize the model. 5. Open Attributes Explorer, and in the bottom left window, scroll to Pline 4 and check the box next to the clock icon. This will launch a probability display window for Pline 4. Under Select a parameter to visualize, choose Salute, and then check Mean. Mean plus standard deviation and mean minus standard deviation under Process Curve Choice. Repeat this process for Pline 5. Six, still in the bottom left window of Attributes Explorer, scroll to Well 2 and check the box next to the clock icon. This will launch a probability display window for Well 2. Next, launch the probability display window for Well 3. Under Select a parameter to visualize, choose Head and then select CDF to display the cumulative distribution function. Launch the probability display window for well 4 and choose concentration as the parameter to visualize. Select PDF to display the probability density function. Launch the probability display window for well 5 and choose U, the extraction seepage velocity, as the parameter to visualize. Then choose histogram. Finally, launch the probability display window for well 6 and choose V, the Y direction seepage velocity, as the parameter to visualize, then select PDF. Seven, open solver settings and go to the stochastic tab. Select Monte Carlo simulations and open the options. Check initialize flow for each realization and ensure that the other initialization settings are checked. Change the simulation termination criterion to stop at 50 realizations and then click OK. 8. Run the model forward. The model will gather statistics and update the display windows as it simulates each realization.
At the end of 50 realizations, note that, even though the input to the model, log k, is normally distributed, the primary output, concentration, is strongly skewed.